video, I'm going to give a trip report of transporting my motorcycle on a Kia Niro EV. The focus will be on range and efficiency. I was hesitant to hang a motorcycle on the back of the Nero EV. The Nero's body isn't a truck frame. Where the hitch attaches is relatively lightweight. Then I came across the YouTube channel EcoBrap, where he tows 3,200 pounds with the same vehicle. I justified hanging the motorcycle off a hitch rack because the motorcycle is really light. It's about 160 pounds, and I'm not going to be carrying much else in the car, and I'm going to be driving very conservatively as well. We have owned the Nero for about four months, and most of our driving has been town trips from our home in the foothills. The town trip is about 20 miles total with 1,700 feet of climbing on the way home. The hill kills efficiency in gas cars, and I expected the Nero to suffer efficiency in the hills as well. I was pleasantly surprised that we've been getting on an average of 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour on these hilly town trips, which is considerably better than the 3.3 EPA number. It remains to be seen what our efficiency will be in the winter. I'm sure it will be much worse. This trip with the motorcycle is 187 miles one way. At the destination, I'll be recharging before returning. The EPA range of the Kia Nero is 239 miles. I start with 100% charge. It's actually the first time I've ever charged it all the way to 100%. The first thing I learned is going down the hill, there's not going to be any regenerative braking. The car simply refuses to overcharge. Oh, how painful it is to use barbaric friction brakes. Yeah, it become spoiled pretty quickly. Unfortunately, you can't choose to automatically charge it up to like 97 or 98%. You have to choose 90 or 100%. Once in town, the route is flat for about 20 miles before I start ascending into the mountains. Driving speeds are about 50 to 65 miles an hour. 84 miles into the trip is the high point, Kenosha Pass. Elevation 10,000 feet. And consumption for the trip so far is 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. From here, efficiency is likely to improve because it's downhill. But it's often windy in this neck of the woods. We arrive at our destination with a 30% charge, an efficiency of 4 miles per kilowatt hour, beating the EPA's efficiency even with the motorcycle hanging off of the back. It should be noted that we didn't need any climate control and that likely helped quite a bit. We brought our portable level two charger with us to plug into a 50 amp RV plug at the campsite. This worked out well. The charge time was about five hours pulling 7.3 kilowatts. On the way back home, the Nero did even better. We arrived home with a charge of 38% and an efficiency of 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour. This efficiency is comparable to 150 miles per gallon. One of the features of the Nero is it gives you driving style feedback. It didn't take the Nero long to learn that I'm weird. My numbers for normal are often in the single digits. And here's a not so normal trick that we used to boost efficiency and trip morale on our return trip. When we got into the car, oh, we were hot. Time to crank the AC, right? But there was a superior option. Right beside the road was the Arkansas River running full of cool, refreshing snowmelt. Five minutes of full body submersion did so much more than the AC could have done. After that, we were grateful for the warmth in the car. There are some downsides to using the Nero compared to my trusty 1985 Toyota pickup. 
I wouldn't dare use the Nero on roads that demand ground clearance. I don't want to learn how vulnerable that battery is hanging under the vehicle. So I settled with a less than perfect parking location. I also missed the truck's convenience. It's nice to be able to just throw stuff in the back. And I'd prefer the motorcycle in the bed of a truck than hanging on a hitch rack. And the upsides were pretty remarkable. The most obvious were safety and comfort. My old truck leaves a lot to be desired in these categories. Some refer to my truck as the death trap, and I can't really argue with this. Lightweight, no airbags. Yeah, my old truck, there's um, a lot to be desired in the safety and comfort categories. Then there's efficiency. The Toyota being lighter and smaller is surprisingly efficient, more so than most modern pickup trucks. But no comparison to the EV. The Nero is roughly five times more efficient than the Toyota. Not to mention that electricity can be had by using renewables. At the motorcycle event, a friend congratulated my purchase of the coal burner. As is usually the case, my witty comeback eluded me. Now with a little bit of thought and reflection, I kind of like this name. It's, maybe it'll stick, a good conversation starter anyway. Now I'm gonna plug this little coal burner into the wall and have it sip some photons for lunch. So far, I'm really liking this little omnivore. Feedback is most welcome. Subscribe if you want more. And in your own way, turn towards the stuff that keeps you going.